empty so seats there, free seat there. Uh, in this session, uh, we are speech about titled Effective Internet of Things System on OpenStack. Uh, this is Hiroshi Miura, and he is Takashi, uh, Takashi, Takashi Kajinami. Kajinami from NTT Data. Uh, at first, uh, next, uh, this is uh, the disclaimer for this presentation, and uh, no guarantee for the correctness of the <laughs> information. The next, uh, who we are? Uh, we uh, 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 present uh, presenters. Uh, Hiroshi, uh, I'm a team manager in NT Datis team and uh, uh, OpenStack ATC for Swift. And uh, I'm uh, being in the development in the involved in the Linux kernel contribution and Samba uh, development and so on, many, many open source software projects. Uh, Takashi is a platform engineer and a consultant in our team. And uh, he specialized for the OpenStack Swift and very actively developed the Swift uh, develop, uh, project. The, we are working on OSS professional service sector. NT Data is an ICT consultant and a professional service firm for supporting customers in the worldwide and the uh, number one company in the, this area in, in Japan market. The, we uh, have uh, several couple of services to using OpenStack, Swift, Docker, and uh, in the same floor, the Fujisan is a, con a committer of PostgreSQL and Hadoop, Spark, at Hinemos, and the last one? It's a Sheepdog. Sheepdog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this, uh, there are so many uh, contributor and committer, and some uh, project manager is working with us in the NTT data. My team, my team mission is OSS professional service with OpenStack. Uh, provide cloud technology for the customer about OpenStack and uh, especially for the uh, Sheep Dog and Docker and of, of course uh, OpenStack Swift. And the realize automation for platform deployment and operation for the customers. Uh, one success story is uh, NTT Docomo's mail cloud. Thank you for the uh, award. Uh, nomination and uh, finalist, uh, we are making for the NT Docomo mail cloud system as a consultant of the uh, project. So now, uh, from this year, uh, I'm go to the next step for this uh, team. Uh, we try to extend the application field for cloud technologies for Internet of Things, aware cloud platform, try to research and build the IoT aware crowd and uh, provide it for my customer. Okay, the next. Uh, in this session, uh, we uh, wrap up the first is IoT, and next is uh, the share of our uh, uh, imagine of the IoT platform and our direction. And then, last, uh, try to discuss about the first is uh, how to build the effective Internet of Things system on OpenStack. The next part is Internet of Things. Uh, there are many articles and magazine articles and web articles to promote or share the Internet of Things is a buzzing. But you, you can know, you know, that some of consultants saying that IoT is the next good application. And other consultants are saying that Internet of Things is the uh, uh, nature of big data. Or another consultant say, uh, the author said the IoT needs more crowd. There are many aspects of the system, uh, characteristics of the Internet of Things. Well, next. Uh, we think uh, the more basic uh, meaning is Internet of Things is a tool, Internet and uh, Things. <laughs> so connection is the base of this uh, uh, idea. Uh, computers, smart devices, consumer electronics, uh, these are the first step of the Internet of Things and the some services like uh, the, uh, mobile device management is uh, uh, emerged for the market. And recently, a uh, car, a connected car, is uh, one uh, idea for the next application for the Internet of Things and the construction machines. Uh, some of you may know the uh, Komatsu, 
a complex is a very uh, successful use case of the uh, system to connecting the uh, machines to the internet. These internet things, the systems enables data gathering and controlling over the internet to the systems. Next. The most uh, discussion is on the big data analysis for the Internet of Things. Gathering data from uh, anything and makes the value from this analyzing them. Hadoop is a, a key keyword of the big data analysis, and recently the real-time analysis is also required, so the Spark and Storm is uh, emerging for the, uh, this field. Next. Uh, one of uh, discussed use case is sensor network. Uh, you can see that this photo is a dam for the uh, water to utilize for the industries and, of, of course, for our uh, drinking. Uh, this sensor would yeah. be uh, uh, in the dam facilities and uh, pipelines and also the processing uh, uh, processing uh, factory mm -hmm. uh, for the censoring the uh, chemical characteristics uh, and the uh, uh, qualities of water and the uh, uh, level of the dam and uh, uh, also the censoring the weather for the uh, analyzing the uh, uh, trend of the uh, dam, uh, dam level. Uh, we are experiencing the provide the sensor network system for some customer related to the water. And uh, we are successfully built the system and release it in this October uh, from NTT data as a uh, ASP service or a, uh, service prov as a service. The next. Uh, next use case. Uh, this is as uh, a keyword uh, buzzword in 2000, this year, uh, industry 4.0 uh, or the smart factory. Uh, every machine in the factory uh, is now connected to the computers and this data is very, very large. If we can get together this data to the cloud and analyze this data and uh, uh, find new idea or the new uh, characteristics of the uh, production line. And if AI can find the good way to change the line to produce more good quality product or uh, make the efficiency to uh, higher and higher. A third uh, use case is connected car or uh, auto drive vehicles. Uh, as you know, uh, Toyota, uh, one of the biggest car makers, uh, announced that they launched the old drive car in uh, 2020, the year of Tokyo Olympic year in the highway. Also, uh, many uh, Google or other companies also announced the, uh, their uh, this development, developing uh, uh, old drive vehicles to realize old drive vehicles not only for development of car, it's uh, the requirement. Also, we need a data processing network around a load to gathering data and analyzing the crowd and feedback to the car. For, for example, the uh, flow of the road highway or the relationship with the other cars and something accident information uh, these are the discussed uh, from the 10 years ago as an ITS system, uh, information the transmission sy transportation system, but now it will be upgraded to the uh, connected car or uh, interesting systems. Uh, this application make new demand for th the uh, systems. Then, next one. So the thanks for the meal, Asan, about the uh, 
explain, uh, explaining about the overview of the IoT. So Milosan explained about the business side of IoT. So I will now start to introduce the technology side of IoT. So to realize such kind of IoT system like connected car or sensor network, we have to construct a platform to support a, such kind of uh, services. So I will uh, make a deep dive to, uh, into the technology side and uh, start to consider how to realize such kind of platform to support such kind of uh, IoT services. Okay, so before thinking about this, uh, the uh, detailed architecture, so we have to consider about the key feature about the data we have to store and process on that platform. So I show three key features mm -hmm. in, in uh, IoT data. Mm -hmm. So one is the volume, the second one is velocity, and the last one is the variety. So the first one is the volume. So in IoT system, we have to deal with a huge amount of data. So for example, we have to more than a petabytes or tens of petabytes or hundred, hundreds of petabytes of data. So we have to deal with the such huge data to make some value from the uh, IoT data gathered from many, many devices from over the internet. And the second one is the velocity. So in IoT system, so we have, we have to gather real-time uh, real time data for many, many devices. So for example, you, when you gather data from mobile phones or mobile devices, so mobile devices are very, very, uh, there are so many mobile devices in the world. So we have to gather data from such a hu uh, huge number of devices. So the velocity is the second uh, characteristic of such kind of IoT data. And the uh, last one is the variety. So in, that, in IoT systems, so there are different devices connected to the internet and connected to the platform. So there are so many different devices to get different data. And the platform should support such kind of variety of data format or something like that. Yeah, so variety of data. So for discussion of the volume, uh, mm -hmm. the petabytes is uh, discussed uh, now. Uh, the not only a uh, volume of the data, uh, also the uh, how much data to become in the uh, in period uh, per day or per month or per year, and how many how many uh, data should be achieved archived in the uh, system. This is a requirement for the system, and how. Uh, the ex yeah. You can explain some example for this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. So is there anybody who is dealing with this uh, amount of data in this room? And I no. think you know it is very difficult to deal with. Okay. Okay. So to deal with such uh, the uh, huge amount of data, huge variety of data, huge velocity of data of IoT, we need to key requirements for IoT platform. The, two, uh, the first one is the scalability. So to deal with the huge volume of data, we need a scalable storage to store such a huge amount of data. So the data grows uh, every day, every year. So we have to scale up the data, uh, the volume of the storage according to the data, uh, growth, in, growth of data. We, ha we also have to, uh, have to realize the scalability in computer resource or networking resource because we have to deal with the velocity of the IoT data. The second key requirement, uh, second one of two key requirements is the flexibility. So I, uh, the, yes, so the variety, is, uh, there, there are so many variety of data we have to deal, uh, deal with. So we have to uh, make, uh, uh, compute resources or storage resources or network resources to uh, to be more flexible. So we have to make some. Uh, so for one data, we uh, we have to use that uh, one analytic method, and for another data, we have to use for uh, another analytic method. So you we have to change the storing method or the analytic method according to the data. So we need the flexibility in each resources to deal with the data. So with this, uh, to realize such kind of scalability and flexibility, so cloud is the best solution, we think. And that is why we are now focusing and interested in the open stack to realize the IoT platform. 
Okay, so I, I will introduce other requirements. So I mentioned about the two key requirements, but there are also another requirements for uh, IoT system. So I will talk uh, in, from the four point of view, the so compute, network, storage, and security. The, from the compute point of view, so we, the first we need is the DevOps support. So in IoT, we have, uh, the, nobody knows the uh, perfect way to deal with the data. So we have to try and try and try. So there are many, uh, we need some trial for uh, get the best uh, solution. So DevOps support is uh, one power, to, uh, big power to support such kind of trial. The second one we need is the automation. So IoT system uh, often have to gather the data without any downtime. So we have to uh, gather the data whole day. So the automation is to uh, enable us to uh, manage such kind of things with low cost. So such uh, automation like uh, deployment, automation of deployment, or orchestration, or automated operation is very useful to such kind of yeah, use cases. Okay, so the next, uh, the second one is the network. So the, from the network point, we have to consider about three point of thing. So the first one is the protocol support. So in IoT platform, there are so many platform, uh, there are all the uh, protocols to gather the data. For example, MQTT is one of the popular uh, protocol to gather data from devices, and. Uh, and uh, the Kafka is, which is support supported by Apache Kafka, is also the solution to gather the data. So the also one of the protocol of uh, gathering data, and the code and rest. And the second point is QoS control. So we have to deal, we have to gather the many amount of data. So we have to set some kind of priority on the data. So we have to keep the bandwidth to gather the. Uh, whole amount of data, or sometimes we have to set the priority to each data. For example, we have to deal with the alarm message or alert message, error message. We have, they are very important message to manage the whole of IoT uh, uh, system. So we have to set the high priority to such kind of uh, important message. Of course, latency and throughput are very big, uh, important to uh, uh, very important and we have to control uh, somehow. And the last one is, uh, I think it is not so familiar with the uh, ordinal uh, uh, IT system, uh, but session and authentication management is required because there are many devices connected to this platform. So we have to uh, deal with the connectivity from the internet. So we have to support the 3G or 4G or something like a mobile networks, and we have to uh, allow, uh, it is uh, we have to allow the neighborhood communications between devices to uh, effectively gather the data from uh, uh, over the network. Okay, so the third point is about storage. So storage is the fat, the, uh, fat stores data of IoT. So this is a key point of IoT, I think. So as I said uh, in the characteristic of IoT data, so we have to deal with a variety of data. So the storage should allow variety of data format, like record, which is all, uh, often stored in the database, or document, like uh, JSON, or binary, like JPEG image or PNG image or something like that. We have to store such kind of such kind of variety of data, and then uh, the target of IoT is not storing the data. So the use of data is the final goal of the IoT. So we have to uh, process the data in the storage. So the the cooperation with the computing resources. So cooperation between computing resources and the storage resources is required to uh, realize the effective process data in the storage. The last requirement, uh, last point to uh, show the requirement is the security. So to, uh, so the first point in the security is multi-tenancy. So there are so many uh, devices, so, this kind of IoT system is not for one user, so we share the platform to 
uh, uh, we often share the platform and realize some applications, so many applications on the platform. So we have to uh, realize multi tenancy on the platform. Like, uh, yeah. And uh, authentication and authorization is required because, and so we have to authenticate users or authenticate, uh, authenticate devices mm -hmm. which can be connected to the uh, platform. And, uh, and we, have to, uh, we also have to connect to the 3G or 4G network, so some carriers are serving. And in that point, we need some kind of accounting. And the encryption is uh, one key, uh, key point to realize this kind of security. So in IoT system, we get a whole many, many amounts of data. So we have to think about the security about data. So the encryption is sometimes required to keep the, uh, some uh, important data uh, secure. Okay. Okay, so to realize, uh, to achieve such kind of requirements, we uh, consider about the architecture of the IoT platform, and now I show some uh, the example of our architecture in uh, IoT platform architecture in the NTT data. Okay, so this architecture is composed from four components. So I will, uh, from next slide, I will uh, explain in detail. So the first one is here. So the first one is the data collection, uh, for the data collections. So we have to make some uh, gateway to get the data, so gather the data from data sources to the, uh, and the gateway is responsible to sending data to the uh, platform on the cloud. In this area, there are many discussion on the other area other than the OpenStack, such as the IEEE defines the protocol for the gathering the home network or BEMS, a building energy management system to treat the green green buildings or other discussions such as all seen in the Linux Foundation is discussed about how to connect the data sources. This area is a little bit far from OpenStack area. But the relationship with uh, neutron or the network uh, systems with these uh, protocols is uh, important for the realized uh, system. Okay. Okay, next. okay, so let's go ahead. So the second part is the integrated platforms, the platform to support whole of the archite uh, platform, uh, architecture on the cloud platform. So the uh, there is uh, so we use uh, scalable cloud infrastructure like OpenStack as a base of the platform, mm -hmm. and we also uh, have some component to monitor and manage, uh, authenticate or authorize cloud resources and uh, devices uh, over the internet. Uh, this data collection is should be uh, uh, not only for the nationwide, also worldwide or continental wide. So the data center would be uh, not only one data center. The multi data center system should be needed to realize the system. Uh, sometimes we sh need to uh, connect with the public net public cloud with private cloud or OpenStack cloud to other hybrid cloud system. So this is an another challenge for the realizing this uh, platform. So the third one is the core of the data uh, processing. So we have to, uh, the first one is the gate of the network. So we have to uh, connect from the outside network to the in, uh, internal network of the cloud through the uh, S3 router or something like a VPN. And first we get, uh, receive the data at the broker and then stores the data first uh, temporarily to the cache and then convert or accumulate the data on the cache and move to the data store like relational database or no SQL or object storage, and then move the data through the adapter and uh, to the data processing platform for something like a real time processing or batch processing. And then uh, uh, realize the uh, sto uh, storing data and processing data with these core components. Uh, this architecture, this architecture is uh, actually uh, one example for the some requirement. 
uh, another some uh, application needs a very real time processing so is that 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 case uh, we connect a broker to data processing directory using a, a kafka or other uh, a storm system up a storm to uh, processing these uh, real time data to and response to the uh, 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 data analysis desires to the device itself or the user uh, this is the, a very basic uh, model for the uh, iot system for the uh, not so much uh, real time requirement is yeah. needed so as Biosan says this is a reference so we have to customize so to you the uh, yes. you uh, fit to use mm. in your system based on your applications so the last one is uh, the application layer. So we have to put the analyst, uh, analytic so applications on the such kind of platform. So we use pass or container. Uh, we and pl have plan to use pass like Cloud Foundry mm -hmm. or something like a container technology support driver Magnum or uh, something like that, and put this, uh, the data analysis application on the platform. Uh, this application is uh, arbitrary, and uh, these uh, are very discussed on the Internet of Things uh, and the big data and uh, uh, how to say, uh, science, a big data scientist. Big data. Number, <laughs> data scientist is uh, very likes to be discussed. But uh, we are a platform guy, and uh, these are out of our uh, focus and out of interest. Okay. Okay. So let's move to our topic, to the open stack. So I, I showed our architecture of IoT. So the next step, we have to consider how to realize it on open stack. Mm -hmm. So here I show some mapping of the, our IoT architecture on the open stack architecture. And the uh, some uh, colored LEU is, I think, we, I think now supported by the open stack. <coughs> For example, so the scalable cloud infrastructure, now we can rewrite with uh, Nova. Nova. And uh, Ironic is needed for the massive data processing yeah. for yeah. the data analysis. Yeah, new and the Neutron will support the L3 routing or VPN support. And uh, Torb or Sahara may support the data store or data processing platform. And heat or magnum may uh, be uh, can be responsible for the uh, application deployment on that platform, and also the keystone and accelerometer can uh, uh, enables us to construct some kind of cloud authentication or authorization or uh, monitoring on the of the cloud resources. So these are some points, yeah, uh, which mm -hmm. is not covered yet. So the, this uh, there are some. Uh, some two, uh, two other things we, to realize the IoT platform. Okay, so here, here I show the present uh, slide of the you know, So there are some uh, maturity level in that uh, in the each OpenStack project. So we have in the previous slide I showed some many many components, mm -hmm. but uh, very useful for our architectures, but. Of course, there are some components. Uh, we have to work more to be, uh, make it more major to such kind of IoT. Uh, actually, uh, this slide is uh, showed in the keynote this yeah. morning. Yeah. And uh, uh, many of components is uh, mature enough for the system, the uh, ordinary system, but for the Internet of Things system, uh, you remember that the volume, velocity is necessary, mm -hmm. so the uh, for even though the mature Swift system, the massive data, uh, data volume and the massive data uh, speed, stress, uh, speed is a very big challenge for the implementing or deploying the system. And also, uh, you remember the uh, Sahara uh, is a uh, very uh, big key component for the internal things and data analysis, but uh, <coughs> maturity is uh, far behind the uh, production mm -hmm. for the uh, for our customer. Okay. Go back for the slide. Okay. So the base layer is very good, and uh, a key component, the middle layer, it's a near big challenge for, for the deploying the open stack to Internet of Things systems, for especially for the uh, production system for big big customers. Mm -hmm. 
go ahead. Okay, so then with that uh, figure I showed, so the, our plot, uh, mapping of the uh, uh, architecture of IoT to the OpenStack uh, architecture. So we summarize something, we, uh, what we can do for the IoT. So I will introduce this. So these are three things we, ha uh, we can do for IoT, we think. So the first one is the broker support. So as shown in the previous figure. So broker is a missing compo component in that OpenStack. So I I mean the broker like Mosquito, Apache Cluster, so broker which is responsible to manage the uh, session from the device uh, and the connectivity of the devices. And uh, now, of course, Zaka is a SQS service, but it is uh, the broker service uh, I mentioned here is a little bit different from uh, Zaka, I think. So we have to uh, to uh, the complete IoT platform on the OpenStack Swift, uh, OpenStack. We have to uh, make some new component <laughs> like this. And the second one is the integration of device manage management. Of course, the OpenStack is dealing with the cloud platform. So it uh, mean the main focus of its management is on the co about the cloud resources. But when you construct the IoT system, you have to manage your devices over the internet. So we have to uh, uh, we have to realize something like an integration, integrated management of data, device, and cloud resources, and the data in the cloud resources. And so here is some uh, the example to realize this kind of thing. So now Keystone is only uh, so we can only define the cloud resources on the Keystone, but to realize these kind of things, we have to add extensibility in the Keystone to uh, identify or define the resources outside the cloud. Okay, so the third one is monitoring. So monitoring is a very uh, important thing to support the service. And uh, we ha in an IoT system, we have to monitor the resources inside and outside the cloud, like in, uh, virtual machines inside the cloud, or networks inside the clouds, or networks between inside and outside, so the outside network, or devices in uh, outside the cloud platform. So now, unfortunately, we have no integrated solution today, so these are some examples we are planning to use to realize this kind of monitoring, like Cenometer and Monasca, or Elasticsearch, log search given so ELK platform, or other tools, uh, also, maybe a solution like something like a, a monitoring tool. And like we can no. also discuss about accounting and uh, uh, for the uh, customers. If a uh, uh, provide service provider, uh, as a service provider so provides a service, IoT uh, system service, uh, we need account maintenance to each each resources consumed by the mm -hmm. each tenant, and uh, uh, calculates the uh, invoice for the uh, customers. Mm -hmm. So this is a big challenge for the IoT system need to monitor gathering the many, many data and also analyze it as for the uh, accounting. Okay, so the fourth one of the six is the, the fourth one is management of the data store. So, so as I mentioned in the requirements, so we ha the storage resources have to adapt it to a variety of data. So we have, uh, have to realize the flexible management of variety data stores. For example, to store the something like a record, we have to construct a uh, relational database like MySQL and PostgreSQL. But to store the document like uh, J uh, in JSON format, we have to construct uh, MongoDB or CouchDB or something like NoSQL. And yeah, and the KVS is also uh, useful to uh, store this kind of data. And the object storage is very useful to store the binary data. And also, the, there are need to manage the massively the big volume and data sites. Mm. And uh, we need to uh, manage the clustering of the data store yeah. for the uh, support for the Postgres cluster and the MySQL cluster and also NoSQL clusters. Is, uh, uh, it should be integrated with uh, cloud management. So now Trob is trying to support this kind of uh, many variety of data stores, but we have to make it more mature 
and we have to more consider about the scalability, as Milasa mentioned. Like, uh, so there are some example to realize to uh, such kind of scalability. So when you, we use MongoDB, we want to construct the sharding cluster using MongoDB. Or if you use Redis, so the Redis now supports something like a clustering to uh, uh, realize the scalability. So we want to use such kind of construction uh, through the functionality of it for. The fifth one is connectivity to the in, uh, external network. So in the previous OpenStack system, so I think there are not so huge traffic uh, between external network and the internal network. So network traffic between internal network is exter and external network is very important in uh, IoT system. And especially incoming network traffic is heavier than the other because we have to gather the data over the internet. So net, uh, I show some the architecture figure of the recent uh, OpenStack using DVL feature in Newton. So in this feature, we can uh, load balance the outgoing network, but we cannot go, uh, load balance the incoming network. So we have to, uh, that is one of the examples we have to consider to uh, realize the network performance to support IoT system. So we have to, uh, from this point, we have to uh, consider the another architecture like direct uh, layer to connectivity or something like that. Uh, we also need to uh, remember about the connections uh, number. Not only for throughput is a, a challenge. Also the connection, size number of connection uh, is a big challenge for the uh, for OpenStack. Yeah, okay, next. Okay, so the last one is the data federation. So the goal of, uh, as I mentioned before, the goal of the IoT system is to store data and use, process the data and use data. So the data federation is the one big uh, requirement, to, uh, one big challenge to uh, such kind of effective IoT system on it. The, this is, some, uh, I show some use case of the federation, so first we get the data to the broker, and I want to uh, store the data to the cache first, and move cache data to the storage with, uh, 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 with uh, some amount, and then detect the data, uh, store the data, and process it, or uh, move it, or something like Hadoop, and process the data and store result to another data, uh, data stores to the Okay, so, so this kind of federation is really uh, requ uh, is required to effective IoT system. So something like the connectivity or collaboration between this kind of things is required to more and more effective IoT system on OpenStack. Okay. okay, so I so uh, I mentioned that I, I explained six uh, things what we can do for IoT. Oh, so, so as a summary, so in this presentation, I, we showed the <laughs> IoT technologies so enable us to gather huge data about the internet and create new value with data analysis. So, and flexibility and scalability are necessary feature to realize IoT platform and the cloud, something like a cloud technology like OpenStack is a very best, uh, I think the best answer for the, that requirements. So we put our IoT architecture on the open, uh, op today's OpenStack and summarized to the list to make effective IoT platform on OpenStack. Okay, so uh, we are now planning to uh, prove a concept project for the using IoT building IoT platform and using IoT platform on cloud, and uh, uh, provide it for the, some a big company customer. Can you say the name? <laughs> And uh, uh, it will be a uh, uh, great result. It will be a great result with uh, these activities. Uh, there are many challenges on the components of the OpenStack and also the application and the missing pieces that we are uh, willing to uh, invest the sum of our power to the, uh, improve the OpenStack itself and uh, adding more components to the OpenStack world. Uh, if you uh, uh, give uh, feedback for us, it's welcome. Thank you very much. Okay.